This month, I embarked on the Northeastern Backcountry Discovery Route, a 1,300-mile route that would take me through the Northeast up to the Canadian border. Armed with a Ducati Desert X rally and with the help of my wife in a support vehicle, this trip delivered plenty of excitement and trouble. In this section, I cover Section 7 of the Northeast BDR. Due to delays from Section 5, I decided to skip Section 6 since it was mostly pavement riding in an area I've spent a lot of time in before. Section 7 goes from Gorham, New Hampshire to Rangeley, Maine over 176 miles of pavement and dirt. There is one expert track, which I had opted to skip due to time constraints. Nevertheless, the main route offered some excitement with road closures and a detour that led to obstacles I hadn't encountered before. Keep watching for more details and for longer form riding footage. The first half of Section 7 was fairly boring. It was mostly winding hard-packed dirt roads and large sections of pavement. Occasionally, there were tighter dirt tracks, which made things slightly less boring. Occasionally, you'll run into some texture on the main route, but there wasn't really anything technical or challenging. Perseverance pays off, though. The main route eventually goes into a network of dirt roads that truly make you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by nature. The main route has occasional loose gravel, stones, ruts, and mud. Nothing overly technical, but enough for you to stay alert and engaged. As can sometimes happen in the BDR, there was a road closure on the main route due to damage to a bridge. I decided to find a shortcut around the bridge to get back to the main route. With the help of Gaia GPS, I found an alternate route. At first, it seemed like a simple hard-packed dirt road. I was in for some fun surprises along the way which culminated in me having to turn around. As I made my way deeper into my alternate route, I discovered the dirt road had deep ditches filled with rocks, mud, sand, water, or all of the above. They were present every couple hundred of yards in between mostly hard-packed dirt road and sometimes caught me by surprise if my vision wasn't far enough. It got sketchy, but I felt in control and the risk seemed low. I continued making my way back towards the main route. Little did I know the ditch waiting for me later down this road. Eventually, I got to this massive ditch. The bottom of the dip featured sharp rocks, followed by a steep climb uphill on sand. It seemed like it would be a lot of fun, but after some experiences in the previous section, I decided it was unwise to risk potentially getting stranded again. I would have tried it out if I was in a group. I decided to turn around it and just take Route 17 to Rangeley, as I was near the end of the section anyways. Fortunately, Route 17 did not disappoint. Even though it was pavement, the road was in excellent condition, twisty, and had amazing views. Overall, Section 7 was fairly boring. The last quarter of the ride is the most rewarding going into West Side Road, but the main route was eventually blocked off. I did enjoy as much of that section that was open, however. I ended up getting some excitement with the alternate path I found that was riddled with ditches. It's a reminder to take more time in these BDRs to explore your own trails. Maine has one of the best ATV trail systems in the country. There is plenty to explore on your own if you want the extra challenge. My only advice for this section is to be wary of the black flies in Maine. I was riddled with bites after this section. Don't wear shorts. Keep watching for some longer form ride footage from this section.